Hey guys, this is the uh, part two of me uh, redoing my one nail that broke. I um, hit stop because I was at the point where I was going to start filing the nail. So that takes a little while, so I didn't want to take forever filing on camera. So is what you do is um, I used my Enel Couture 100-100 grit file and I just filed it got it as smooth as possible got out any bumps or bumps and lumps and whatnot then I used my Enel Couture smoothie buffer and that helps smooth out any ridges and get it all good and smoother and then you use your um, extra smooth file you can really, I guess, skip the smoothie, but this just takes care of all that. It gets out. It helps make it extra smooth. Takes out any little ridges and whatnot. Gets it all polished looking, all clean looking. So I just wanted to show you what files I used for that since I did it off camera. And I went ahead and took my... Um, my bottle of alcohol, Asperol, I'm not sure how to say it, alcohol, and I just put it in a little jar, and I put it on a lint-free wipe, and went ahead and wiped all the dust off, got it ready to finish up, and so here's what the uh, blue acrylic powder looks like without any top coat or anything, so... I'm going to go ahead and put this blue sparkly gel polish, and it's the BB Ombre Gel, number 27. I already said it in the other video, but just in case. So I'm just going to finish up this nail, <clears throat> and let me get my uh, beautiful lamp, and this is the... Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Chimmy C UVLD nail lamp. And this has 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and it has a um, 90 second low heat mode, and it's double power. So, this is a really good lamp, and I got this lamp off of Amazon. And guess what, guys? I know I just did a. 100 subscriber. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I'll be giving away an Eno Couture um, gift set thing. So once I reach 100 subscribers, I'll be doing my first giveaway. So y'all go check that video out. But anyways, I, I wanted to show you this lamp. I had ordered two of these lamps. So that way I can have the extra lamp as a giveaway gift. So I wanted to tell y'all, just for future, once I reach 500 subscribers, I might do it at 300. I'm not really sure. Anyways, I'm going to start painting while I'm talking. Um, so, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do first. I already have my 100 subscribers. Once I reach that, you'll have you know, couture polishes and whatnot that I'll be giving away for free. So go subscribe and whatnot. But anyways, all right, so I'm going to throw this sparkly blue gel polish to help pop this out. And just make it as even and smooth. Try not, get, try not to get it on the skin. But anyways, what I was saying about this lamp, I had gotten an extra lamp for a future giveaway and um, so if I reach either 300 or 500 subscribers I will be having the exact lamp brand new in the box as part of a giveaway later on down the road if I make it that far lol and also other goodies with these lamps so, I will be doing a bigger giveaway 
if I either reach 300 or 500 subscribers. So, I just figured I'd throw that out there while I was showing the lamp. Dang it. Damn flies won't leave me alone. And if you have animals, they really are attracted. The dang flies. Anyway, so you just get all the sides and get it all, you know, coated. I love putting glitter. It just totally pops out a nail. And really, you just really need one coat since it's already on top of the blue. So, um, and if you do get it on your skin, you can either take a brush dipped in acetone or just use your own fingernails or a tool and just, you know, get any polish off that you've gotten. And that takes care of that because with gel polish, of course, it doesn't dry until you put it in the light so I do like that <clears throat> about gel polish so I'm just getting it off the edges clearing cleaning it up all right so I'm gonna pop this in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I will be using my Eno Couture shiny e top coat and I got that on enochcouture.com if anybody's interested. So I'll be throwing a top coat on, drying it. And this is a no wipe top coat. And then <clears throat> I'll be using the uh, cotton candy enochcouture kitical oil and then we'll be done. So you just dry it. I'm going to move that out of my way. Or actually, I will need it again. Never mind. Let me bring it back out. I'm so crazy. Oh my god. This seems like weird. Alright. And again, I'm using my opposite hand. painting and this this clear coat and I literally just got this in fact it's in an unboxing and it's like I don't know what the hell it's like had like a coating over it anyways I guess I got it off jeez there now it's much better. Anyways, just, you know, do the best you can. Try not to make a mess. Try not to get it on the skin. Do a thin layer. Make sure you get the sides. And I've actually gotten used to using my uh, left hand, so it doesn't feel that strange. But whenever I first started using my left hand, it was pretty hard to do, but. I'm actually kind of ambidextrous, or however you say that. I actually do a lot of things with my left hand. So, it's not too strange. Feels pretty comfortable. And I did get a little of it all around my cuticles. But that's okay, because we can just wipe it up. Mm 
And then once you clean it up, pop it in the lamp for about 60 seconds. I mean, really, I could probably do 30 seconds, but I try to uh, just do a little extra just to be on the safe side. All right, pop that in there. I hit the 60 second button and I'll see if I can put this lid on with my left hand and I did, left hand, one hand. I can go ahead and put this up while my finger is drying. I like to put things up as I go and I'm drinking me some coffee. And I uh, like to make iced coffees. I do that for the summertime. I drink coffee every day, all day. And I just drink the uh, instant coffee. And I use uh, Splenda and uh, liquid creamer in order to have iced coffee. So that's pretty much all I drink in the summer. Because it's too dang hot for hot coffee. Alright, here and now what we got left is it's very important to do cuticle oil, you know, because you done roughed up your fingers and put your fingers through hell, lol. So, anyways, it just feels so good and nice. So, we will put some of that on, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it a fresh dose to all these and why not even though I did do that whenever I first did this set and then you just do a quick rub in and even rub it on the nail to kind of shine it up give it a little extra shininess to it for a second until it dries And I'll go ahead and do my other fingers so these fingers don't feel left out without getting a second dose or another dose of cuticle oil. That way this hand doesn't feel like, oh my god, it's, it's not, it doesn't have another dose of it. And I'm putting more on the thumb. It just didn't feel like enough. I like to douse this stuff. You can't go wrong with it, you know. You can't put too much oil. It won't hurt it none. Then you just do that. Give your fingers a little quick massage. Rub it in. And then you're good to go. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry the uh, part one's pretty long. You know... It does take me a little longer doing my opposite hand. But, you know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit, li uh, hit uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And hope you come back for more videos. And I'll show you the uh, finished nail. So, here's the blue nail that we fixed. And here's a shot of both hands. So I'm calling these kind of like my mermaid fingernails. So here's my thumbs. I did them a little different. So some of them are the same and then a few different ones. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.